So this is my response to that poem. This is Crawfish Soldier's Grace. At Lenny's in New Orleans, belly full of crawfish and abita from Dookie Chase, enchanted with the Crescent City. I sit with my squad, the spots not popping, but a Guinness and a load off always good for you. His falling down is drunk, loud and larger than his physical intent, though unsteady to make conversation. I listen. He Navy SEAL rolls a short sleeve, rough reveals a tattoo I do not register, aggression in his movement. His eyes turn accusatory before my own. You have to excuse him, he insists, just back from Dubai hours ago. The practice of this poet's life is to accept grace even braided with fear. When I am electric alive, I am aware of my circumference, my periphery. I venture the path ahead of me. How was Dubai? Through fire, water, fog, he drops dead Iraqis, Cheyennes, and weapons. Beirut, the stories are slurred, his eyes are steady. His gaze aflame, focused to singe, still I keep it. One does not look away from the sick. I feel my features morph into faces burned into his memory. His eyes on me have weight. My breath labors under this density, this ready-made history. He is fumbling, a backpack, something to show me. Many minutes and no matter, heart in hand. Don't take nothing scary out. You will recognize me. I will defend myself. He is machine trained. Calm becomes weapon in his hands. It is a binder he hauls out. Paper military work. Certification his inked flesh, not as lawful as inked paper. He leaves and returns and leaves. Yes, he just kills some Iraqis. Yeah, he goes back east in 45 days. Twice he says it, 45 days. I feel island. I feel sand. I stay smiling. Glad you are home safe. When he lurches, I do not waver. Compassion, compassion, compassion. He insists on touching my bracelets. No, in a storm off, a thundercloud. In my heart, there is a room of tenderness for drunks, a corridor of love affairs with soldiers, a maze, because I know ideals worth dying for, but none to kill for. As his girl scaffolds his feet, props his jacket on, he reaches for my hand. What kind of poetry do you write, he asks. This kind. <laughs>